We're going to demonstrate how Report Expert allows you to extend standard reporting. So the whole idea behind this is that you have a parameter set that you can define. Th this can be anything. If you look at this, you can pick uh, your production, you know, the, the, any one of these uh, items off the plant model. You can create things with filtering, and all of it is a click, select, or multi-select as well as when you look at time like you can do stuff like show me last shift and compare it to current shift for instance um, now the power of it is you can then go look at one of our charts and this is an RDL that's been optimized to work with uh, the parameter sets that we just showed you and the idea behind it is you could have one report that's basically set up in a general way that could be used by any number of parameter sets now let's show how it's it's used in terms of a, a real example. So when we look at our production overview report, notice, and I'll expand the parameters by clicking this item. And notice when you look at the grouping, site, area, line, work cell, shift, start. And notice how they show up on the report. So you could very easily go in here and say, you know, I want to look at line, work cell, let's say day let's look at shift start and let's get down here and look at I don't know hour now these grouping areas you know we've just selected them so we want to save them and then we want to view the report now when we look at our report we'll, we'll go down and look at the individual items notice how the headings all change they match our line work cell date shift start and hour and when we expand, we'll not only see the day, and now we'll go look underneath the shift, and we'll see how that's summarized by hour. And notice now we have line, machine or work cell, date, shift, and hour. Each one of these are properly summarized. So when you look at the 13th through the 15th, it, these are summaries by hour. They roll up to the 6 a.m., uh, shift they in turn roll up to many shifts per day and as well all the way up the plant model uh, via work cell in line we have a document that explains how to create your own report templates this is one where we have dashboard type content in terms of gauges a data bar with the with events including tabular data